A. Are you someone who wants to make your own quiz game show in PowerPoint that actually feels like a game show? Then you're in the right place. Welcome back to Slide Master, where we turn ordinary slides into extraordinary presentations. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an advanced quiz game show in PowerPoint. And trust me, it's easier than you think. Let's jump right in. All right, so first things first, I'm going to use this picture as background image to set the tone, gives the whole slide a real game show vibe. Now, I'm inserting a rounded rectangle. This is going to be the question box. I'll set the height to 1.10 inches and the width to 10.30. Once it's on the slide, I just smooth out the corners a bit and center it. Now let's style it. I remove the fill, change the outline to white, and bump up the outline width to five points. Then I add some glow, just go to Shape Effects Glow, pick the white preset, set the size to 10p, and make it about 80% transparent. This little detail makes a big difference. Okay. Now I put in the question text and place it right inside that box. Next up the options. I select both the question box and the text box. Press Ctrl D to duplicate them. Then I resize the new shape to 0.80 by 4.80 inches. That'll be our option box. I type in my first option, center the text, and align everything. I duplicate that three more times. So now I've got options A, B, C, and D. I go ahead and type in all the answers and of course, I make sure one of them is the correct answer. Now let's bring this game show to life with animations. First, I group question shape with its text, just select both and press Ctrl G. Starting with the question, I apply a fade animation and set the duration to one second. For option A, I select the shape first, add a float in animation, set the direction to flat down, and start it after previous. Then I do the same for the text, but this one starts with previous. I follow the same process for options B, C, and D. Shape floats in, text floats in right after.
Now I play everything in the animation pane to make sure it flows smoothly. And yep, it looks great. Now here's the cool part, setting up the triggers to reveal the right and wrong answers. So first, I select the correct answers shape, not the text, the shape and go to add animation. From there, I choose fill color. In effect options, I change the fill color to green classic right answer signal. Then I head over to the timing tab, click triggers and choose start effect on click of, and I pick the corresponding text box. This way, when someone clicks that answer, it lights up green. Now for the wrong answers, same steps, but this time I choose red for the fill color. Set up the triggers for those text boxes too. And remember, only the shapes get the color fill animation, not the text. That's important. If you want to spice it up even more, feel free to add a timer, sound effects, or even images to match your theme. I actually have a separate tutorial on creating a quiz timer. I'll link that in the description. All right, moment of truth when you go to slideshow mode and click the question, the options slide in. And when your audience clicks an answer, bam, green if it's right, red if it's wrong, just like a real game show. And that's it, your own interactive quiz game show made entirely in PowerPoint. If this tutorial helped you out, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Slidemaster and let me know in the comments what kind of presentation you want me to create next. I read every comment and I'll make it happen.